This question tests whether you know your way around the periodic table. First, read it carefully. Part A asks us to label the column that has the most negative electron affinity values. In other words, the column of elements that is most likely to steal an electron and form a minus one ion. Part B asks us to label the column that corresponds to the generalized electron configuration shown. Now let's make a plan. For part A, we need to recall the trend in electron affinities for the periodic table so that we can find the column with the largest negative values. And for part B, we'll need to use the generalized configuration given in the question to place electrons in the S block, the D block, and the P block until we arrive at the correct column. Okay, we have a plan for both parts of the problem, so we're ready to solve. Part A. We know from lecture that electron affinity values become more negative as you move toward fluorine on the periodic table. So the column with the most negative values must be the column containing fluorine. That's the halogens. Label that column with a capital A and we can move on to part B. Let's start at the beginning of the generalized electron configuration. The fact that it starts with a noble gas core just lets us know that we've completely filled at least one shell and we can start filling the next shell from the first column on the left. Next in the generalized configuration we have NS2, so we put one electron in each of the two S block columns. The N at the front means that we don't really care which row the electrons are in, just the column. 10D electrons takes us all the way across the D block. And finally, one P electron places us in the column that starts with boron. Label this column with a capital B, and all that's left is to check your work. Go back and reread the question to make sure you've answered everything that was asked, and check that you haven't made any careless mistakes, like finding the largest positive electron affinity values instead of the largest negative values. Everything looks good here, so we're done.